people are going to be hitting the road. Maybe they haven't taken their car out in a year. We're here at Toyo Tex, Texas plural, with the owner, Fred Johnson. One of the first things we do on a trip check is the battery and the charging system, because the last thing you want is a dead battery when you're out of town. Who wants that? So, for example, this vehicle, I pulled it in, it's obviously corroded. It fails the visual inspection, and so that would indicate to us we need to test the battery also. It's a 12 volt system, so this should be 12 and a half volts. So it's already low. Next, I want to make sure that all the fluids in my car are at the appropriate level. The tanks are all transparent, so you can see fluid levels, and there's a mark for proper fluid level. And then you want to make sure you're using the proper fluid also. You don't want to mix the old green antifreeze with the new pink antifreeze. Checking our wipers, look and see if they're torn on the edges. This one just feels dry and brittle to me. The cabin filters for your fresh air in your car, and those should be checked also. But sometimes if you have an odor in your car, it's this thing. Okay, Fred, let's talk about tires. People have had their cars sitting in garages for a year, so what do they need to do if they're gonna be hitting the road? Well, tires will lose their inflation from sitting, so likely they are underinflated. inflated so One thing we do is look at the tread. We want to look see how they're wearing. And if you open up your car door, there should be a sticker there, right? It has the tire sizes and the, the recommended pressure right here on the sticker. So 30 PSI says right there. Robin, Fred first and foremost wants you to be safe on all of your road travel. So if you see an orange light on your dashboard, a check engine, maybe Google it or take some time to see what's wrong. But he calls anything red the oh crap light. So Make sure that you call a mechanic or take it to a body shop because you don't want your engine to blow up if you're on a road trip for Memorial Day. Back to you. See you, Liz. Thank you so much. Um, experts say you can do a number of things to try to stretch out your gas mileage. First, change your air filter. Slow down. Fred, the mechanic says that you can get up to 20% more per tank if you're driving below 55 miles an hour. Please don't be the one doing that, though, on the left-hand side of the highway. Other ways to save is to... Use cruise control, don't idle your car, and pack light. Now, the lighter the car, the less gas you end up using. All right, once you've hit the road, you can use AAA, Gas Buddy, Gas Guru, or Geico's app to help out.